can you please explain the rocky curry dna analysis and what does it add to the rn invasion migration etc theory so around 2015 16 or so they discovered one a, a number of skeletons in the in the in the rocky curry archaeological site in uh, northern northwestern india and the and the samples dna samples of of a number of these skeletons were extracted they were sent for analysis see the thing in india is that the the climate of india the, the, the temperature etc the humidity is such that it is very hard for ancient dna to survive and that's why we have not been able to found so fi- find uh, a great deal of ancient indian dna in india but nevertheless they were able to extract dna from one one single skeleton out of all these this dna was sequenced analyzed etc and because of that we have now the first evidence of one individual of, of the dna of one ancient indian individual who happened to be a female so she is one of our ancient ancestors right so what does the dna tell us it tells you that there is no step component in this person step means the eurasian step between uh, central asia and eastern europe and all that so these uh, there is no yamnaya kind of ancestry in this individual it is a pure indian ancestry no step component the second thing they, they were able to find is that this individual this female she had a component of of ancestry that is closely related to the ancestors of the iranian people so one of the uh, beliefs is that the iranians came westwards and invaded india and that's why there is this uh, common dna between india and iran you i am not sure if you know but india and iran are essentially the same population so the, the same ancient population the closest ethnic uh, relatives of the iranians are indians they are not the arabs so india and iran is essentially the, the descendants of the same ancient population so the belief was that it was these iranians who invaded india and that's why we have this commonality of ancestry commonality of genetics but from the rakigari skeleton it was found that she had a component of ancestry that was ancestral to the iranian populations so the rakigari uh, skeleton is about 4 5000 years old and the ancestry which was shared with the iranians is about 10000 years old so it it shows that the iranians essentially are descendants of ancient indians and not vice vice versa the other thing that was found from the rakigari analysis is that there were that uh, there are a number of ancient other individuals other ancient individuals who have been found in iran in turkmenistan ancient skeletons whose dna has been analyzed it was found that this rakigari individual is genetically genetically very close to those individuals who are found in iran and in turkmenistan they are called indus periphery individuals and this is evidence of an out of india migration out of the indus valley region migration into iran and turkmenistan so again this supports the out of india theory and there are many other data points that i don't remember exactly in detail but you can check out the article check out the research paper and you can see all the details so essentially what it tells you is that there was no uh aryan invasion into india but there is significant evidence of out of india migrations from just the analysis of analysis of one single individual now we have to be very clear about this we only have dna from one individual it does not represent an entire population uh, at its peak the sapta sindhu region the indus valley harappan region had a population of over 5 million individuals which was the greatest largest population in the, in the whole of the ancient world 5 million it's an enormous population for that time so one individual does not give us is not representative of a large population like 5 million what we need is we need to find more ancient uh samples of dna at least 10 20 30 maybe 100 200 then we will be able to actually confidently make a claim as to what sort of genetic make- makeup was there in ancient india in in that time period but from the one sample that we have at our disposal it is already showing us that there is evidence of out of india migration and there is no evidence of any invasion of migra- or migration into india from this one limited sample so i am i need to make it very clear that we need more samples one sample it does not tell us the whole story but from the limited data that we have it's clear there was out of india migration